Good morning, fellow engineers! Today we are designing and craft a gravity-defying Tensegrity sculpture. The star of the show is the Two Trees TTC 450 Pro CNC machine, which we'll use to do the heavy lifting. For an in-depth review of the machine, check out my last video. I highly recommend getting yourself this inexpensive but impressive tool. You can also find the links to the CNC directly down there in the description, so feel free to check everything out for yourself. Before we can get started with the milling though, we need to design our sculpture. My CAM software of choice is, of course, Fusion 360. It's just amazing. It's easy to employ its accurate geometric features to design such an object. After some fiddling around, I arrived at a design that was to my liking and quickly rendered everything to see what it would look like in person. Satisfied with the result, I cut everything out of olive wood using the TTC 450 CNC by two trees. And then it was time to clean everything up. First, I removed all the tabs with a woodworking file and sanded the insides of all those tiny triangles with sandpaper. Then came some hand sanding of the main faces and once that was done, I proceeded to use my tiny belt sander to get all the sides smoothed out. Back to the file. I worked the joints a bit more such that the arms would fit nicely into the pockets that I carved into the bases. After quite a bit of work, it was time to oil all the parts and to let them sit overnight. Assembly time. This is the seriously painstaking process when creating such a delicate handcrafted piece. At first I drilled some holes for the tensioning hooks to sit in, using a plywood template that I also cut out on the TTC 450. Once the holes were positioned in the olive wood, I proceeded to attach the tiny screw driven hooks. Now we attach the arms. For this I use long miniature screws which run through pilot holes directly into the lambda shaped parts. Once secured, I add two more screws, just for some more structural integrity. Into the top of the arms, we'll also add another hook. And now for the most difficult part, creating the strings that will control the tension on the sculpture. The two parts will be connected by three outer strings attached to the corresponding hooks. Now if we just use those three, the top will obviously simply fall down. So to compensate for the gravitational force acting on the upper part, we add a tiny string connecting the ends of the arms. And that's the magic of the tensegrity. The top wants to drop down. But by doing so, it will apply tension to the bottom part, tensioning the outer strings in the process too, which leads to a stable equilibrium, which will persist solely by the structural integrity and the strength of the strings and the hooks. That's like tensioning -ception, I would say. We use tension to get ourselves even more tension. That is awesome. And with all of that figured out, we'll end up with a beautiful CNC machine, but also handcrafted cyber tensegrity sculpture. Elon would certainly be proud. So I think that turned out very nicely. That looks magnificent. I'm very, very pleased with the final product. It looks nice and anti-symmetric. Asymmetric. And overall just 
that the curves look very futuristic and I really really dig the little and small triangles and the tiny bit bigger ones and, and just overall very fantastic. Only thing I still have an issue with is that um, this part right here is a tiny little bit thick. As you can see here they are nearly touching each other, there's only like half a millimeter of distance between the upper arm and the lower arm so I need to cut off a bit here okay for the for the final model but for a first prototype, I think this is the best one I ever created. I got nearly no issues with it and I'm going to put it here. And Tensecrities are amazing because um, if you got hardwood like this one and everything is screwed nicely, then basically it can hold up a lot of mass. For example, this Newton's pendulum, it, it weighs quite a bit, but this won't be a problem for this Tensecrity, can hold it. It's like magic, it's absolutely terrific. This turned out beautiful, didn't it? I'm really satisfied with the result and cannot recommend it enough to invest into a CNC to bring your ideas to life. Hence, once again, I invite you to check out Two Trees wonderful machinery, which will really give you a head start into the hobby CNC business for low entry price tech. That would also really support the channel too. And if you want to support the channel even more, why not make sure to subscribe to the channel and to share the videos around if you do enjoy them. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flimble day and please stay safe. Ciao!